I will start with this plant, which is a cactus plant, one of the most famous in our part of the region in the Mediterranean for so many reasons. This is the cactus plant, which is an edible plant. And it is called the Oputinia ficus indica, the prickly beer, or the nobal. What is good about this plant material? It is in the product. You can buy it. It's a good fencing for most of the farms and it has wild nice flowers as well as a beautiful fruit and usually at the end of the beginning of the summer you start seeing this all over the mediterranean and this plant you see it in most of the fences and you see it in around places around retaining walls or the dry stone retaining walls and that's why we love this plant. It's part of the region with its magnificent color that touches the grounds and you start planting it. Most of the cactus plant, as we all know, cactus plant, you can plant them just by tipping them off and then immediately you can see the value of this plant growing up in gardens and you just keep it away from kids because of the thorny things that are around the fruit. The fruit comes at the end of the tip of this big leaf, which gives about 30 centimeter by 20 centimeter. And you can feel the value of this plant in late summer, early summer, late summer. But it's a beautiful fruit. It's good for just this tip when you eat it. And it's good to but make sure that when you peel it, you, are, you should be careful peeling this plant because of the lot of small, tiny, tiny uh, thorns that surrounds this beautiful uh, plant material. It is a favorite plant. Uh, I don't plant it in gardens due to the reason of it's dangerous to kids and most of the time uh, it's not easy to control uh, when you cut it it dies down sometimes it dies back but it takes alkaline soil and most of the time it needs it doesn't need a lot of care it just you have to make sure that it's a cactus which means uh, dry uh, for the dry landscape you can feel this plant and you cannot go wrong with this plant material Again, Putina ficus indica, which is a beautiful plant, succulent plant material, native to our part of the region, heavily used in Arizona, zone nine and 10, and mostly you'll find it in Arizona, Mexico, deserts, most of the deserts, the dry deserts, you find this plant, and it is beautiful all over our part of the world. Again, the cactus uh, uh, plant, uh, because of its common use in our part of the world, it is very important in the dry climate. You see it all over, and if you see it, you should be careful with its thorns. The nice thing about the flowers, you will see a lot of colors of the flowers touching and mostly you will be seeing that if you go up on the top, you will see those upper leaves are greener and they are like reflective. Uh, they have this reflective image of the greenery and you will see this yellow green comes up on the top of the upper portion of the leaves or the leaves in the upper part of the tree. It's a major uh, plant material. The use of this plant in our part of the world is heavily used, as I said, in farms, uh, and you can find it. It's getting now to be expensive if you want to buy those leaves, because just make sure, 
If you want to peel these fruits, make sure first you dip them in water, in cold water, and then you peel them. Make sure that you don't peel them immediately because these thorns are not easy to take out. Now I want to draw the uh, shape of these uh, fruits. Uh, we will mix three colors, the uh, redness or the, of the, uh, uh, the, the redness of these uh, colors, color uh, fruits, and these fruits are usually, as I said, on the tip or around the circle, encircles the plant, and you will see them actually blooming during now. In few weeks, you will start seeing them coming and blooming all over uh, the region. At the tip of this, you will start seeing the colorful, the color of the redness of the fruit and sometimes you will start seeing some nice beautiful blue uh, uh, sorry nice blue uh, nice uh, flowery yellow flowers to red flowers and you can see these combinations uh, that's why usually I you will see the beautiful color of the yellow of the flower comes out to be real 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 uh, yellow flowers you will see it coming up and that yellow flower, its brightness, but at the end tip of each fruit, you will start seeing these smaller dots of red before it blooms. Let me again go back, reshape the fruit with the dark green. Here we go. This way we start having this cactus plant. We zoom into it and then we start seeing the beauty of this plant. Okay. Start having some shadows. Those are the black shadows of these at the tip and the lower part of the fruit. Start seeing the darkness here, shadows. Of course, you'll see some shade on the ground.
here we go we're gonna finish this up the touch of the rocks that we have at the bottom and we're gonna do some more of herbaceous or some kind of a plants just some of these grass coming up just to give this as a Favor of the work. Then here we do come up to finalize the name. It's up U T Nia Ficus Indica. It's called prickly. There, a subbar noble. Here we see her name F A S L A, and the date is twenty. Eight, I believe, five, twenty, twenty. And here we go, we end up growing the cactus plant. And this was done today. And I hope you will enjoy eating a subbar. Subbar, beautiful plant material, huge, gets to about three meters two meters in height, two and a half meters in width, clumps of big leaves, directly, sometimes or indirectly, you see different shades of greenery on the same plant. Thank you.